Hello everyone. Today we will learn in detail about pons and midbrain of the brainstem. Starting with pons. In Latin, pons means bridge. It is present in between medulla and the midbrain. The middle cerebellar peduncle connects the pons with the cerebellum. It, the pons has two parts, the basilar part and the tegmental part. Basilar part is on the ventral side and tegmental parts, a part is on the dorsal side. A uh, pons has two sections, the upper and the lower section. Uh, two main arteries which supply the pons are the pontine branch of basilar artery and the anterior inferior cerebellar artery. Two syndromes are associated with the lesions, the mid medial pontine and the lateral pontine syndromes. External features of pons has two surfaces, the ventral and the dorsal, two borders, the superior and the inferior. Cranial nerves 5, 6, 7 and 8 arise from the pons on the ventral as lateral aspect. Posteriorly, the pons has the cavity for the fourth ventricle. The basilar part will be the same on the upper and lower pons, whereas the tegmental part will differ. These are the tegmental part and this is the basilar part. The lower section or the section at facial colliculus level has the facial colliculus which is nothing but a raised edge formed by the facial nerve after winding uh, around the abducens nucleus. And then the facial nerve passes down in between the 5th and the 7th uh, cranial nerve nucleus and then it exits out on the ventral aspect. So these are the contents of grey matter. Uh, the nucleus of 5, 6, 7 and 8 cranial nerves along with the nucleus tractus solitarius. The white matter consists of the trapezoid body, the spinal uh, lemon sky, the medial longitudinal bundle and the tectospinal tract. The trapezoid body is nothing but uh, a, a body which carries the auditory fibers passing through the superior olivary nucleus and then it finally reaches the primary auditory cortex. This diagram the trapezoid body is seen more clearly here. The upper part of pons or the section at trigeminal nuclear level the fourth ventricle is clearly seen. The trigeminal nerve arises mainly from this section. The grey matter consists of the fifth nerve nuclei and the white matter consists of various tracts and lemon sky. This is a simple diagram of the upper part of pons. This is all about pons and now we will move on to the midbrain. The midbrain in detail it is the shortest segment in the brain stem. It has two levels, one at the superior colliculus and other at the inferior colliculus. Blood supply is mainly by three arteries. The basilar artery gives branches at one direct branch, the posterior cerebral and the superior cerebellar arteries, the posterior communicating artery and the anterior choroidal artery. Three syndromes are associated with the midbrain lesion. They are the named syndromes the Weber's, the Benedict's and the Perrinod syndrome. Coming to the external features of midbrain, the cerebral aqueduct is present here. It is also known as the aqueduct of Sylvius. It connects the third and the fourth ventricles. So in midbrain there are two surfaces, the ventral and the dorsal and it, it has the crust cerebri ventrally. This is the crust cerebri on both sides. So, the plural form of crus cerebri is the crura cerebri. It is present ventrally. Uh, one more, this is the substantia nigra. You can see in black color. So, this is the substantia nigra. And cruciform sulcus divides the col uh, colliculus into four uh, parts. The corpora quadrigemina. So, it is present here on, on the dorsal aspect. So, the pineal body is present above the midbrain and the frenulum villi is present dorsally. Uh, la, it is uh, nothing but the white matter which is a part of the superior medullary velum, uh, lateral to which the trochlear nerve arises. So, 
The external features of midbrain includes the cranial nerves on the ventrolateral aspect which are the third and the fourth cranial nerves. So the fifth uh, nerve that is trigeminal nerve al also has one nucleus in midbrain. The substantia nigra is a crescent shaped smooth curved pigmented grey matter. Uh, it is medially more thicker than the lateral side. Uh, it is present between the tegmentum and the crust cerebri. Uh, from dorsal to ventral it varies with different levels of the midbrain uh, it uh, it is different in the superior collicular level and the inferior collicular level and the crust cerebri it is anterolateral to the substantia nigra also called as the basis pedunculi it is a part of the cerebral peduncle and consists of descending tracts it is the part which connects the cerebral hemisphere with the pons the inferior colliculi level of midbrain has the grey matter which consists of the fourth cranial nerve nucleus, the mesencephalic nucleus and the inferior colliculus nucleus. The white matter consists of the superior cerebellar peduncle decussation and various lemon sky from medial to lateral, the medial, the trigeminal, the spinal and the lateral lemon sky and also the med medial uh, longitudinal bundle. This is a line diagram of the midbrain at the inferior colliculus level. Coming to the superior collicular level of the midbrain, it has the grey matter which consists of the third cranial nerve nucleus that is the oculomotor nucleus, the mesencephalic nucleus, the pretectal nucleus. The pretectal nucleus contributes to the pupillary light reflex and the red nucleus present here uh, involves in the motor coordination. Uh, the color of the red nucleus is due to the presence of hemoglobin and ferritin and it also consists of the superior colliculus nucleus. The white matter which mainly consists of various fibers uh, has the uh, tegmental decussation, the dorsal and the vent ventral tegmental decussations also known as the dorsal maynard tegmental decussation and the ventral forels tegmental decussation and medial longitudinal bundle also the oculomotor fibers. This is the diagram through the superior collicular level. That is all about midbrain and the pons. Uh, we will continue with the next in the next class we will continue with the lesions of the brain and we learn in detail about all the clinical syndrome associated with various parts of the brain stem. Thank you.